Let me start by saying, where have I been? I have been so busy lately. I haven't been able to do video for like, I don't know the last time I posted. Over two weeks ago, yeah. And I have been so tight and so busy with the work. Literally, I've been working and working. As you guys know, things have gone up, 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 up everywhere, yeah. Which means we have to work a little bit harder. Yeah, so I've been working a little bit harder. And when you work at night, I've been working day and night. And when you work at night, it's like you're working two days uh, at the same time. Because you start sometimes at night or in the evening. And then you finish next day. Next day. And you're so exhausted. And that means you have to sleep next day. Whatever it is you're doing. So I've been so tired. And then I've been doing things around the house. Um, you know, painting, decorating a little bit. Because uh, winter is coming. So I was trying to get, you know, the painting done before it gets too cold. Uh, school, so back. I've been busy with school once as well, you know. It's, it's just a lot. So every time I'm like, I want to do the video, the time doesn't allow me. This week, I had some few days off, you know. So I said, I'm going to try to do the video. But sometimes it's just so hard. Time goes so fast. And it's just, it's not possible. But today, I had to squeeze this time to do this video because I've been wanting to do a video for you guys. Um, now, let's go straight to the video. If you've arrived in UK, you have just landed to UK, yeah, and you don't know anybody. You were here as a visitor, for example, or, you know, you were here illegally and you don't know anyone or you don't have relatives. And even if you have relatives, remember, it's, it's just you, you know, it's always on you, even if you have relatives. Most of the time, relatives are so busy in this country. That's what I've realized. People are so busy. Nobody has no time for nobody. Anyway, let's just say you've arrived here and you're about to fake it until you make it. How do you fake it until you make it? Hmm. You are a visitor and when you're a visitor, you're not supposed to do what? To work. You have six months to stay and you're not supposed to work. Or you have come for other reasons and you're not supposed to work. But you know what? You don't want to go back where you just came from. You want to stay right here. Now, how do you fake it until you make it? First thing you need to do is find a job, yeah? But we all know that you're not supposed to work. I'm going to refer to being a visitor. When you're a visitor, you're not supposed to work, yeah? It's against the law, but a lot of people do it anyway. They do it under their own, they do it um, under their own risk, yeah? But you're not supposed to. It's against the law, yeah? Now you're here and you're like, ah. I need money why because we all have needs we all have needs and without money we can't do nothing nothing money is the route to happiness no. is it <laughs> well it is kind of because if you don't have money what are you gonna do let nobody lie to you i mean you don't need a lot of money to be happy you can have a lot of money but still be miserable but you need money at least to get things done without money you can't get nothing done absolutely so you are here and you know what you have needs and you need money and you're not supposed to work and you need a job what are you what are you gonna do you're gonna make sure you find a company a fake company you need to find to do what find a fake company that can hire you uh without documentation check you know, so they just you're just gonna call them and they're just gonna be like, Oh, you know, you are you willing to do this? You know, are you ready to work? When are you available? And they straight take you to work without nothing. Sometimes you, they, they don't even give you training. Well, a lot of times they don't. Why would they give you training? They are fake. You don't get training, you don't get no uniform, you don't get no document check, you know. As long as you're available and you're willing to work, get your hands dirty, they take you to work. So what you need to do is you find a fake company, a fake company that doesn't work under government rules. You know, they do things the other way around. Those sort of companies are a lot. They are, well, they are around. They are, um, excuse me, I haven't I wouldn't say that I worked for them because I don't like, I don't like them, 
but I know of some available and uh, I had a friend who was running one which didn't seem really uh, straightforward company and I did I did work for him just once just to help him once he was an Asian man just once <laughs> once you know it was so crazy it's like nothing he just sends you to work like that but you know what I mean I have everything yeah i have everything I, I'm, I'm just talking about those who don't have you know if you're here and you know you don't have papers and you want to make ends meet yeah and i've never done work for any fair company like blah, 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 you know and do that i don't need i don't need it so but i know people who have so what you do you get one of these fake companies you know what and they send you to work but now when you get one of these fake companies you gotta make sure that they are gonna be a good person deep deep down good and honest and somebody who's not gonna sell you out because some of them can be you know they might say oh you gotta do this you gotta do this you know oh if you don't do this then we're gonna have to do what to uh report you because at the end of the day you're not supposed to be working you know some people might do that you never know some people might do that and then they sell you out so you most of the time is somebody that someone knows you know and you trust them that they'll keep your secret yeah and they send you to work and you make your money and they pay you cash because obviously you're not supposed to work you don't have a bank account so you work for them and they pay you cash straight yeah a lot of people like that and a lot of people who even have who are not illegal or have documents they do that uh, to avoid paying tax especially if they have other jobs and they're already paying too much tax and they're trying to save because they don't want to pay all this tax so they do all they have one of these fake companies on the side that they work for them undercover and they pay them you know cash 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 you know so it helps as well because the more you work the more you pay tax it's like the more you work it pay tax it goes back so you know people try to find every other way to make it work so you need to find another way, way to you need to find a way to make it work get a fake company get somebody you trust somebody you believe in who's not gonna sell you out you start working and they they pay you yeah and uh you could make your money if you are here to visit you could make your money while you're here visiting. By the time you go back, you can gather some money and go back home and start a business for wherever you came from. But sometimes some people don't want to go back. They want to stay here. Now, if you've come, you don't want to go back and you want to stay here. You can't live the rest of your life working under a fake company because uh, some of these the places they send you to work, they might ask you, oh, bring your document, bring this, you know, and sometimes it might be a bit tricky. And you find yourself not being able to work and also your work is not guaranteed and you know when you're in this country this is not back home back home you could rent a property or a place to stay at low cost you know or you could just live with relatives or friends you know but here if you live with somebody or you know you want to rent rents are so high bills are so expensive you know and uh living with someone means you're gonna be chipping in you know especially when you're working they're not just gonna have you living in there and then you're not paying anything every time you live with somebody they want to see you chip in yeah so now let's say for example now you've come here and you're like you know what i don't want to go back home i want to stay here because i like it here so i want to stay here longer but you can continue working under these fake companies because you cannot guarantee yourself this income now what do you do you need to get yourself here to stay but again you need to do get things done because when you st stay undercover it's hard to survive you can't literally do anything basically you can't do anything and you don't want to live your life knowing that you can't do anything for very long hiding here whereas people back home thinking that oh you know our brother our sister you know our this this is there living the life and yet it's the opposite now what do you need to do you find somebody to marry now that's what a lot of people do i'm telling you guys i've never done any of this all right thank god i've never done any of this but i know people done it i know these things people doing them yeah you gotta find somebody to marry 
whether you love them or not <laughs> because a lot of times the people who marry uh people to get green card they call it green card you know in america they say green card but let me just say green card yeah or get this document or visa it's not necessarily that they are in love with them they are basically uh in into uh, a relationship with them because they at the end of that relationship they're going to get something out of it and that's going to be a green card or a visa permanent stay yeah so a lot of people do that a lot of people do that <sighs> i've met guys who've done that a, well not a lot of them but a number of them i've dated some of them as well um and uh get somebody yeah most of the time it has to be like most of the time people do like western men yeah most of the time it's western women yeah because i don't think uh us we want to be played like that i literally don't want to be played like that i literally say to myself i ain't dating anybody who is uh who doesn't have you know the green card no because literally um you never know if they're in love with you the love is never there it's always like i'm desperate and maybe you are desperate i'm desperate i need something from you and you are desperate because you need me at this moment so you know what we can just match yeah and at the end of the day once they get what they want they're gonna always leave you because i've seen those cases i've had those cases it's always that so i say to myself i'm not dating anybody uh who who is you know who doesn't who's not in with who doesn't have you know not on the system i'm not i'm not because i'm not trying to fight you know to make sure that you're gonna prove your love to me or you're gonna escape once you get what you want but now i'll and then and then what and then what you're gonna do is so you get somebody to marry most of the time you waste on women as i said yeah and that's what they most of the time do because they feel like it's easier for them to get this document and easier for them to manipulate and they always find someone who's lonely and you know looking you know desperate i don't know so you find somebody you marry and then you do what you have kids all right you have kids find someone marry and have kids yeah i don't know if people you don't even have to like marry marry and go to a wedding you can go to the lawyer and sign those documents or even just have kids you know or even if you don't get married you just have the kids yeah two kids yeah you have two kids yeah and then you prove your love as you go you prove your love you prove your love as you prove your love this person do you know what people do basically they prove their love and then they as they prove their love to you they also manipulate you to believe that they are really in love with you and then you become um you become a victim and then you fall and then to their trap and then you you know you get them what they want yeah so i'm not saying i'm not saying people to come and start you know manipulating people i'm saying that's what people do now if you come here illegal and you need you need to fake it until you make it get a scammer a company that's fake you apply a job get find somebody mzungu yeah um <laughs> uh, you know get involved get into a relationship a deep relationship yeah get um uh, have kids two kids yeah as fast as you can because that's what people do as fast as you can yeah and then get your documents and then once you get your documents honey then you are free to go uh you can you are free to go come up with every excuse that you can come up with that you're no longer into the relationship things have happened now you are willing to go the guys have done that i've met them they all they've done that now what i say is obviously it's very you know it's 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 not good to you know uh do that to the other party but i'm saying if you want to fake it until you make it you need to follow those steps yeah um and then once you get your your things you do co-parenting that's what people uh do though it's not a good thing but if you allow yourself to be used then 
that's what it is uh, i personally said you know what in no way i'm dating somebody who who's gonna not, who's not on the system because at this point you either way desperate and they're desperate and then that's it and that's it then once you get your documents things start happening you can apply a job because now you can do education you know you give it you can do education because now you're free you can study if you want to study more you can get a job and do whatever you want to do apply job you know now and you know just get everything done like everyone else because when you don't have documents when you are not on the system you can do nothing it's a waste of time you can live the rest of your life being undercover a lot of people do it and try to do it but what you need to remember is if you if you leave and come here and you don't have documents and get stuck here and you hide here you will never be able and you don't do anything about it you will never be able to go back to where you came from because the moment you try you try to go back you can't because you don't have your documents have expired yeah so you can't uh you can't go back but i was told also if you stay uh in the country eg like uk for 20 years uh when you don't have when you're not on the system or you don't have a green card then what you can do is apply um now to stay after 20 years you apply to stay but that's gonna cost you a, a lot of money obviously it's gonna cost you some money and it's gonna mean that you have to hire a lawyer to fight your case and blah 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 and a lot of people don't want to go through that so they just find someone to marry you know and then you get things done for yourself because that's the only way to survive all right guys so that's the end of this video don't forget to like uh share subscribe i'm gonna come back with another video i love you guys